And we are in a combat. More like Pegasus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like to proceed? I imagine Fasman actually said that. Uh, in the, room, uh, the very first she thing definitely I'm did. Doing, and I and I can go at the bottom of the initiative or something. I, I want to check on the kid and the father. That's see, perfect. Yeah. So uh, because it's it's not yet. Yeah, there's a moment for that. And yeah. you look through the doorway and nobody is there. Well. All right. We've got all the, some demonic flying beastie in that room. And mm -hmm. no one else in the house but us. That seems right. I'm but. angry at myself. <laughs> I'm angry at Zock for arguing the whole time until the family left the house. I'm stubborn. Oh, a joker happened. Yeah. There we go. That's we oh, got okay. a joke. Oh, nice. Yeah. nice. I got a joker. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you are in combat now with the Dolby. So yeah, you have you have your bearings as much as you can. Okay. Thasman, you are going first. All right, I think this is just a straight up, like, I think I'm like instinct now. I'm just gonna try to go out with my rapier. Um, yeah. You're gonna need to move a bit closer. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I think if we, I didn't, I, I hadn't moved me at all yet, but if we know this thing's in the room, we've gone in the room, I'm gonna go out with the rapier. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna jump on the bed. I love it. <laughs> and like, <laughs> pop up, yeah. Um, um, and this thing is large, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> so it's gonna be real easy to hit. Now, it, it does the Joker automatically, right? Yes. Okay. Let me get my character sheets. And Ooh, you're about to do so here. much damage. I'm making sure this is in my <laughs> main hand. It is. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'm going to go to the chat to make sure it says Rapier. It does not say anything about offhand. So, um, all right. Um, is there any way I could argue this was a sneak attack? Because it doesn't expect me to come jumping in with a sword, but... It is okay. not a snake attack. That's fair. <laughs> what the Roll fry? on like, hey. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there you Ooh. go. All right. Nice. So I got a, got a nice little bump there. With a raise. All right, with a raise. Then I hit with a raise. Damage okay. with a raise. That's all right. That is an 11. All right. Uh, we did not target it. Okay, so hang on. Oh, shoot. Sorry. It's okay. That's uh, that's just that that that's means foundry stuff. That's Amy stuff too, though. I can do it. Yeah, it's targeted now for me. All right, that. We'll shake oh, it. So, so so that's not that might not be a hit with a raise. Because that uh, just a standard will just tell you if you got a raise over a four. Um, oh, okay. Because it just uses uh, the target number. So if you actually target the the creature, then it will tell you if you got a raise on that. Okay. One. Do you want me to re-roll it then? Let's re-roll the damage. It. Okay. Just to just to make sure. <clears throat> yeah, I'll do that. I'm happy to do that. Um, let me go back to my character sheet. Go to the rapier. And yeah, that's a foundry thing, not a yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Try it again. Now that I'm targeting it. There you oh. go. I'll there take you go. that. It's I'll better. take that. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. So now I have a raise. Okay. Yes. And then apply that damage. Yeah. So okay. raise damage. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Nice. 18. One yeah. shot it. I'll take that. <laughs> do it to him. Nice. Oh. <laughs> it is shaken. Okay. <laughs> and it is wounded. You just yeah. can't see that kind of wound thing happening right now too. Okay. Um, it is going to, it should have allowed me to spend a Benny, but for some reason now I've messed it up even more. Okay. So I'm going to let it stand. That's my thing. It's fine. I just want it to be wounded. It's time for this Zol to get whipped. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fastman, please quips, quips during combat. <laughs> That's like my one thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I have there a lot go. of things, but it's definitely one of them. <laughs> Got it. All right. So, um, yep. So, Sunny, you are next. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. 
suppose I'll move in. That door. Or... Yep. Um, and... Yeah, um... Do I note, like, before I, before I, like, attack, do I notice anything? Like, is there, like, aside from it just being a, a large, uh, a, a large, uh, hellish beast, is there anything that I notice that might, like, um, that might bring to mind, like, the, the, like, anything to do with the family? Not specifically anything to do with the family, except it's sitting in this house. Sure. That seems bad. Okay. All right. Well, I am going to attack it uh, with uh, my sword, since trying to hit it with a with a longbow at this range would probably be silly. Uh, let's see here. Make sure you target it. I believe I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't tell. So, it looks. Yeah. It looks like it. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's giving me an offhand penalty. I didn't. Um, I was. I had intended to like unequip the bow. Okay. Uh. I can. I can fix that for you. That does hit. No, it would be. It would be a. a it would be a seven. But so that's just one rate. Well, it. it that's hits. a hit. Okay. So you would roll damage. regular damage. It just gave me an error message on force, but I wasn't even trying to do anything. Same. <laughs> the dull beast. Wow. That's a hit. It is a hit. <laughs> did you figure out how to soak? <laughs> I did. Okay. I must have been another Vinny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow, dude. I'm gonna spend another penny. <laughs> nice. Holy cow. Wow. All right. <laughs> Was it meant to be? Hey! It meant to be. Wow. wow. And this thing looks at you and cackles and says, you idiots. I'm just here to distract you. Oh. <laughs> She'll be waiting for you in the cemetery. Who who will be waiting for us in the cemetery? Okay, I and have a it question. disappears. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, so he's like, I am yeah. not having another chatty talk scene. No, the thing yeah. is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny, you always kill the thing before we can ask it why they're waiting for us in the cemetery. Uh, Y'all, I wanted to use my action card, which is specifically to make it talk. <laughs> That's the only. It's I wasn't expect. I was not expecting to like between Thasman and I myself. Kinda, yeah, just, I kind of can't messed it believe too. you guys hit it so hard. That was amazing. Um, <laughs> and I would never punish that. <laughs> But it does immediately dissipate. It gets its one line out and it dissipates. <laughs> the good news is that now we're in a chase, and this chase is going to go really Ooh. quickly because we're not doing a full chase. We are doing a dramatic task. Nice. And the idea here is that you get a certain number of um, successes and a certain number of rounds. Uh, so you will need 12 successes in three rounds in order to uh, catch up with. What we presume here is probably Mother Kilcarney. Yes! <laughs> That's right! I started feeling really bad. I was like, well, maybe she is really just like an, an older lady who did it like the smell. I'm so glad. Thank you. That is high praise, though, that I almost swayed you. Oh, oh, I really started thinking that the, the, the pet dog was involved. So I'm not because the I mean, it, my dog is fair. magic. Yeah. That's fair. Right. But also, like, I still don't feel like I still feel bad about having to apologize to uh, the father more so than uh, Kill Carney. <laughs> so badly, Fucking I was like, dick. "How do I recover from this?" All right, <laughs> um, Sunny, do you want a King of Diamonds or a Four of Clubs? I would like the King of Diamonds, please. Okay. Uh, and we only need the turn Ooh. order here in the sense of uh, kind of 
who's doing what, because she's going to be doing things as well, although I'm not going to tell you what they are. Uh -huh. um, um, I would like fact, a new card. Okay, you can have that. Because I got a queen of clubs, and clubs are oh, very bad in yeah. dramatic tasks. Clubs are bad in dramatic tasks. Oops, I meant to, nope, take, let me take that away. There we go. Oh, is there a um, description of what dramatic task, what the, what the, what the, like there, what there was for the um, um, thing earlier? What we have, like the speed, what the suits do? The interludes? No. Yeah. So, so dramatic tasks are are, are are different from interludes a little bit. So, like Amy said, it's kind of like a social combat in a way, although there is a specific social conflict option. We go in combat rounds, but we can do a number of different things within those rounds. We don't have to, like, attack something. We can run or research or do whatever. Uh, and we're trying to collect successes in that. If you have a club, you automatically get a minus two to whatever you try to do. If, okay. you, f if you fail... Uh, the whole thing fails. Yeah. Okay. If you have a club, only if you have a it's club. Bad. Yeah. yeah. And I just got another club. I got an ace of clubs. <laughs> <gasps> so she's doing her thing. Soccer, are you skipping your turn or are you going to do something anyway? And you can choose like any of your skills very much like we had our mm -hmm. quick encounter earlier. Um, I'm going to... I'm just I'm just gonna hoof it. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna do anything this this okay. round. Just running. Yes. All right. Um Sunny, what would you like to do? You're muted. It's okay. It's my job to watch that. Uh well and this and and as 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 explained, you basically just use a skill that makes sense. Uh and again, we're collecting successes as a team. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, let's see. And we, you can support someone later down the line if you That's true. want. Okay. Um, I guess at this point, just use athletics to keep pace. Um, that makes sense. Go ahead and make the roll. Nice. Nice. Whoa. Very nice. Nice. That's two successes. Almost three. Nice. Very well done. Okay. Let's see. Dazwin, you're next. She's going to shoot at her with her crossbow. Damn it. Uh, just trying to slow her. <laughs> Basically, I don't think she's planning on thinking like she's attacking her as much as just trying to slow her down by like, mm -hmm. you know, giving her a reason, something to dodge or whatever. So. I don't know what the game allows as far as attack rolls in these situations, but that's what she's doing. That's and narratively that's important for me. Seven. That's a seven. That's one success. Seven. Yeah. All right. Um, so Greg. Yeah. Uh, so she looks like this kind of ghostly figure, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to grab her with some, uh, or try to use nature magic to uh, like slow her down essentially. So vines falling from trees and like things moving up in her path. Like she's probably too like ethereal for, <laughs> for most of that, but like, we'll, we'll see how much my nature magic can do. Sure. So, um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to add a PowerPoint to it so that uh, it is tougher. So it has a toughness of 10. I don't nice. know if that works. But, yep. I mean, uh, <clears throat> let me see. Do, do, do. Where's the modifier? It's not giving me that. Oh, PowerPoints, maybe. Uh, plus one. At the bottom, if you go to the modifier, if you go to the there's, bottom of the chat screen, there's modifiers for better rolls. You well, there's also there's may. also entangle modifiers. Ah, thank you. Yeah, that that is helpful. Cool. Ooh, nice. Ooh, yep. Two more. Yep. Excellent. That is five and one round. Y'all are halfway there, just about. Well done. Living on a prayer. 
I got club again. Uh, Sunny, king of hearts or king of clubs, I'm sorry, or eight of hearts. Uh, well, we've already got two clubs in there, so I'll take the, the eight of hearts. Club's bad. We only have one heart. We only have one club. Oh, do it. Well, Zuck. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to stick with it? Zuck. <laughs> I'm, I'm spending a penny to get another one. Oh, yeah. I did it again. I keep adding. I keep thinking that they're adding to the to the pile, but that's not that's not. Eight of hearts. I, I, I will say I love that it's it's kind of like you're like make it rain, Bennies. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Greg, you are next. All right, uh, first. Yeah. So uh, if that didn't, oh, so essentially you see these plants coming up, sort of getting in the way of it, right? I'm going to lob like a, a ball of water using elemental manipulation to not attack it but to move it into those plants i like to, it uh, yeah like smart so let's uh let's try that do, do, do. i like that creative combat idea yeah. gotta get them going where you want them to go uh-huh. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Hiding. Yep, I- I'll accept that five. Five, okay. One for us so far on this round. Uh, she's doing a thing. Sunny, you're next. Um, Let's see if... Let me see if there's anything else that would make sense for me to use. Um, uh, let's see. I'm actually going to... Same, same die, but I'm gonna like uh, use the different skill to flavor it a little differently. Um, smart uh, for battle. Um, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna s- notice how Sogrik has been sort of kiting, uh, kiting uh, her in a particular direction, and just basically like kind of keep the momentum going to kind of like corral, uh, corral uh, her precisely where we want her. I love that. Go for it. I'm going to give you a Benny for not spamming your... <laughs> no, I mean, that's important. I love it. it. It gets really easy to spam the thing, same thing, so I like it when people are creative. Nice. Two more. Well done. So close. All right. Zock, you get to go this time. All right. Um, I'm going to entangle... Um, I'm going to use the, um, the, the ground basically. So Sagrek's kind of coming from up above with vines and pushing, um, this creature into a particular direction. And I'm just going to like lift up with my hands so that mud and stone and rock go shooting up to grab like around her legs. If possible. Awesome. Nice. nice. Yeah. Oh wow. Two more. All right. You are at ten. You need two more. No pressure, Thasman. <laughs> All right. I I'm gonna use I think just agility this time because I think that being a halfling, I'm a little bit slower than everybody else because I don't I don't have much range of motion. So I think I'm just trying to get that second win to try to like kind of like keep up the pace and make sure I stick with the party instead mm-hmm. of falling behind. That makes sense. As much as it would be fun just to keep shooting, I do want something different. So, well, and your that makes sense for your character. I love that. Uh, so, does that count as a success? That is one success. Okay, cool. Then the Alex that's going to put us into a new round, which is fine. Um, let me add Benny for that, and then Benny. Benny. Oh no, we can't afford it. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying the name of the feature. I know. I just yeah. I, I started it and I was like no 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 no. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> uh, Sunny, ten of spades or six of hearts? Uh, the ten of spades, please. Okay. Zock, no pressure. But a little bit of pressure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I all the pressure, but she has a club, so. Uh, yeah. Um, I will. Uh, um, 
I'm going to use a, a cult to try to determine what this thing is exactly. Do it. To hopefully help out my friends. Yes. There you go. Excellent. <clears throat> That's two more, and you realize that um, definitely was Mother Kilcarney because she is wearing the same clothes here, although ragged. And uh, she is a night hag. And that is not great. That okay. is dangerous. So she's a hag. No, no surprise. Yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah, think we, we, we were all we there. Met her today. Yeah, <laughs> we met her today. You, you were there, right? <laughs> no, no one made you apologize to her. <laughs> It'd be wheeze. Okay. Uh, so you arrive at the graveyard uh, and you're horrified by what you find. But Sonny, you got a joker. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Hey. nice for everybody. Hey. All right. So uh, Mr. Morgan is currently absent. So what you're seeing essentially is you're You've worked your way through the graveyard. It is pitch black outside. Um, the good news is that a couple of you have dark vision, so that's helped everybody get there without bumping into stuff and injuring yourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, and then once you kind of crossed this invisible threshold, there was just green light in kind of dis nauseating waves emanating from a tomb, a crypt. Uh, and as you get closer, you can see that there is this green crystal in the middle with like black veins running through it. And um, Mother Kilcarney, uh, or our night hag, is next to it. And she seems to be doing something to it. And Thomas and Blink are cowering in the back. And that is what you see. Um, Amy, how deep is it? Like, does it feel like, like from the from the edges down into the crypt? How deep is that? It's not. It's it's a it's a you could walk into it. It's a on the ground level thing. Okay, good to know. It's just a family tomb. Got it. Um, I would like to spend two bennies to recover all of my power points. You got it. Nice. Oh, so is it is it a tomb with like full walls and a ceiling? Yes. Okay. That's what I, I, I guess I thought it was looking into a pit, so I couldn't hmm. like. That's fair. I did say crypt, in. which does make us I, think underground. Yeah. So I couldn't like reach in from like the side. I have to go inside the front door to do anything inside of it. So yes, but there okay. are the front door is very wide. Two okay. people could fit through the front. Okay. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna spend a penny. Hang on. No. To, do, to do what? <laughs> to draw. You have to tell us. <laughs> I'm going to keep the same card I had. <laughs> I wanted her to have a better card. Mm -hmm. She got a two. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, oh. Sunny, you are first. What would you like to do? All right. Um, I'm going to... I'm actually going to ask Zoc, what am I looking at that crystal like and, and like gesturing toward the crystal? Um, uh, it's a green crystal. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I told you magic detect friend. That's what I, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's when that's when make a notice roll. Me, okay. Make a notice roll. Okay. Uh huh. And that's when make a notice roll. Cause you hear that. Did the dice hit your token? That was kind of cool. <laughs> I just moved it because I, I am a, a oh, master. You did get a success. Uh, there's a whole, there's a crystal incident in your team's background where you managed to drop one that was very important and shattered it. Oh, and right. this strikes you as a potential replacement to make up for that if you wanted to go back to that town and do it. Or, I don't know. Okay. But you're I, just, it's I, I shiny. I'm just going to pocket that knowledge for now yeah. and not try to like bring it up in the middle of what's going on. But it's shiny. It's, but yeah, Sonny is like, he's, he's drawing, but he's basically like, he's, 
looking for some sort of like indication as to whether he should be drawing on the the hag or the crystal. And just fire at something. Yeah. Um, well, in, in that case, I will help um, in a metagaming sense. In that, I was actually going to ask for like a notice roll if if that would help. See, Crystal doesn't have a pip on the screen that you can hit. Yeah, figured. <laughs> <laughs> this is my out of character horn. <laughs> so, uh, so, so there's there's nothing you can target there. Okay. Uh, then in that case. I am going to draw down on the hag. Shoot the boy. What? <laughs> you hear this that, voice to drift in. From the- that, was, that was really messed up because I was like off, like I was off tab. So all I heard in my ear was shoot the boy. <laughs> Which- I don't know what you're talking about. None of us heard that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and just to like, just to reiterate, what's the hag doing? Uh, in the um, she is definitely doing something conjuring in some way with this crystal, but you don't know what the idea here is. Okay. Um, so she may be bringing more things into this realm. Yeah. She may um, be. Just yeah, feel a I little mean, portal-ish. Yeah. If, if nothing else, this will like, will stop her from doing a thing for, for at least a brief period. So I'm going to, I'm going to take a shot. Okay. Which actually let me move into the doorway. So. That makes sense um, to do. I will move you. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Make sure you target her. Okay. Please. And. Yes. You hit um, the cam with your dice. What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, did that hit? It does hit. Uh, it's just regular damage. All right. Uh, let's roll damage. At, at the very least, it's going to distract her. Shaken. Nice job, though. That definitely stops her for a moment. Zock. And uh, does oh. that ha- does does that does like does that like make anything like visibly like is there any visible difference with what's happening with the the uh, the crystal? Mm, there's uh, the energy kind of dims, and there's a kind of a ripple effect that's happening now. Instead of this bright green, that's kind of constant. It starts in waves, kind of. Got it. Okay. Um, I'm going to move in and go to the corner here. Um, and I'm going to fire a bolt. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Um,. I'm going to make uh, make this a little bit more um, damage. It's it's going to cause more damage this time if it hits. I love it. Damage is always good. Uh, it's an eight. That does hit. I don't know why it's not calculating that fun thing for me, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. It hits. Oh, I just remembered something. What? I should have done double damage because I got a joker. Oh, yeah. (gasps) Okay. All right. Let's see. I want to spend a penny. We're going to make a figure roll. Make a figure roll. (laughs) <laughs> always, always in my head. Mm-hmm. Do a bigger <laughs> roll. Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and we will not be taking any wounds. Uh, oh. We're going to go backwards in time and think about that previous damage, and that previous damage should have been 20. 
Make a vigor roll. <laughs> oh! Get to spend a penny. Yep. Okay, so we are indeed wounded. That's right. That's right. We're wounded. I know. <laughs> That's so hard. <laughs> See, I, I still have my finger up. I don't know what this is supposed to be helping. But I'm like, everybody <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, and I got to go. Okay. Uh, all right. We're doing great. Okay. You guys are doing so great. Yay. Um, at this point, um, Blink barks twice and he and Thomas disappear. <gasps> oh no, that ruins my plan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he blinked. <laughs> he did blink. And at that point, you might realize our spellcasters might realize that blink is indeed a thing that you can do. So if, our, if you if you are a dog that can do that. <laughs> yeah, Learn something from that dog, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Uh Thasman, uh, I'm sorry to have taken the the I had a, my, my entire plan was to run up and protect that kid, and now he's gone. So I don't know. I will I have him back if you want that. No, it's fine. I'll okay. retake something else. I just, I literally was like, okay, how far can I run as a halfling? Like, I was like, I know I'm supposed to attack, but she has a whole thing in her past about kids being in danger, so she right. was going to try to protect. But you know, it's, it's fine. Whatever. I do not um, want to do too much child <laughs> endangerment tonight. So yeah, she's going to run in and uh, and uh, I guess. Um, Actually, if the crystal is on the coffin, she's going to try to steal the crystal because she thinks like, and not for the selfish reason. It's not not for the selfish reason, but it's also for other unselfish reasons. <laughs> Her thing is like, both. if this woman is drawing, this creature is drawing power from this crystal and doing something with it. If I take the crystal, she can't do that anymore. It's a win-win for you. Yeah, that's what yeah. I think. Um, or Kaylona's ghost. So yeah, I'm going to run up and I guess would it be a, th a thievery roll? Um, make, ooh, because there's like a thing happening here. So make, sure. Thievery is fine. Okay, I am making sure. No, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. Uh, no, yeah. Uh, okay. I was looking at your, your I know, I was just making and a dumb joke. that one works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to roll a thievery. Ooh. Six. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I have a lot of Benny, so I'm gonna try to do a little better than that. I, a, a raise would be great. Yeah, I have a lot of Benny, so I'm probably gonna keep going until I get a raise. So just as a heads up. <laughs> That's fair. Yep. I get yep. Benny's for this reason. Yeah, and also it's work really close to our heart out, so yeah. I wanna I wanna go out on a bang. Um, okay, let's try this again. Skills thievery. Boom. Yeah. Hey, there we go. All right. All right. Finally. So there's a moment where you're tugging on it and it does not want to move. And you're like, uh uh, not again with the crystal thing. And <laughs> uh, you pull it really hard, but also carefully with your dexterous, almost thief like hands, right? And um, it suddenly just kind of unsticks. It feels really weird. Um, and it just kind of unsticks from that pocket of reality. And you are now holding it. Um, and the hag screams it is sounds very much like the dolby's mm. yeah mm. and uh, and, and Fasman just shouts to the rest of the party like some cover would help and then <laughs> he starts to move like she's gonna head out but i don't think i have enough movement to do that now so i think i'm whatever oh. i'm probably still next to the coffin right now but all right sagrek it is your turn yeah uh got you on the cover and uh he's going to begin to move his arms in an arcane manner and uh, calling on the spirits of nature, specifically fire in this instance, you're going to see his arms begin to glow like embers as he creates a fireball and not, not fireball like the spell, but like little tiny little ball of fire. I love it. <laughs> a baseball uh, of fire. This is yeah. one of those few times in Sogar it really gets to let loose, which is yeah, because this yeah. thing is uh, is not a creature and it is, it not is natural. out of this. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. It, it's time to go. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, let me just make sure. Cool. And I, too, have many bennies, so be prepared. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh. 
you should always reward your players for doing hindrances mm -hmm. and interactions and all mm -hmm. those things. A seven's would a seven hit? You're you're aiming. You need a four is all to hit. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to roll my 2d4. I'm going to re-roll that, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad. Yeah, it was, it was very sad. It was very sad. I, you, I'm not a fan. you flicked on your lighter and you threw it and forgot <laughs> that the flame was going to extinguish. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, that would be four damage, but that's probably not. I'm going to use a Benny because I want to take this thing out. <laughs> <laughs> I went. Narration? No. <laughs> not yet. Okay, Whoa. so that that gave me one four, and I get to re-roll that. Yeah. And be four. So that is an eight. That is enough to shake. And she should be unshaken right now because she soaked the thing, so that shakes her again. Yes. Um, the good news is that if you shake her again, that's a wound. Mm -hmm. um, she gets to go. Oh, my gosh, I get to do a thing. You have to unshake first. I do have to unshake first. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. true. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, the thing you get to do is unshake. Well, let's spin that Benny. Still? You can, I mean, you can spend a Benny. Oh, I spend the Benny. Unshake. Unshake. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot the best rule. All right, so now I get to do it. <laughs> it is a cool rule. <laughs> it is a good one. Um, and that's the thing I like about Savage Worlds is it wants to let you do the thing. Right. Uh, let's see. We're going to cast Bolt. Ooh. And we're going to cast Bolt at... Uh, <laughs> let's see. Who has done the most damage? Oh, there's so much that's been happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you have the crystal fast. I'm saying, as much as I, I like the the pragmatic idea of, of who's done the most damage, no. I still want to think more directly. I am the yeah, target, for sure. For sure. Oh! <gasps> No. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to spend one of my GM bennies. It's the last one I have. Yes. I've been... Let's try it again. Oh, oh my God. No. <laughs> Guys, she has really yeah. cool stuff. She has yeah. such cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is, again, that's the thing that I like, though. Yeah. Right? Sometimes... You can one shot everybody. All right, let's re-roll this new combat. Here we go. Let's see where everybody's at. Uh, Sunny, Ten of Hearts or Queen of Diamonds? Uh, I'll have the Queen, please. <laughs> she is outrageously angry at this point, uh, and uh, she is like you can. Hear this kind of weird screaming, and she was like, "Fools! I will still defeat your entire town. Will be mine." She's doing her whole villain monologue here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, in that case, and when uh, when uh, uh, when uh, she attacks Thasman, I'm gonna sling my bow over back over my shoulder and run at her with my sword. <gasps> so heroic. <laughs> it is. It's very cool. Very cinematic. Because, no, you need to pay attention to me. So I'll just move there, I guess. <gasps> and. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm going to spend a bit. Yeah, I am going to spend a Benny. Do it. Because do it. I saw spend it. Bendy. that hit? That does not hit. Well. <laughs> what the pennies are for, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> Man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm trying one more time, and then and then I'll call it. Yeah. Please don't be a six, but also be a six. <laughs> I'm just trying to get her get her out the paint. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's enough for me. 
<laughs> if nothing else, I have gotten her to pay attention to me. Hopefully. She is paying attention to you, and uh, she's very upset. All um, right. So, Greg. All right. So, first thing I want to do is play that. Ah! Uh. <laughs> so, uh, and she's already doing it. But these are uh, the action deck cards. Yes. And so, they, for the next turn, the, the, the enemy is going to gloat or talk about their master plan, losing their action. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I, I figured it, it worked with- I was gonna cards. raise an army and- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, And is is that an action or is that just free? That's free. free. You Perfect. still get to do a thing. But I'm still yeah. going, I'm going to lob another fire ball at her. Uh, let's try this. Roll. Do a He's barrel. Gonna, he eat that child and his father and his father. Well, how many raises? That's three raises. A, so many raises. Uh, yeah. All right. So I know for one raise, it's 3d4 instead of 2d4. Hang on. But I, yeah. Yeah. It's two raises. No. Wait, that's so that, many more raises. What, what, I don't I don't know what, what that's three her, raises. Her, her parry is. So it's three Oh, raises. but it's four. Four. Right. Because you're. So then, and then I add one more because there was a, a D4 in there. Mm -hmm. And then one D4. 13 damage. And that is enough to shake her again. Nice. <laughs> nice. Which is enough to wound her. Um, and she goes down. Um, she crumples into what is essentially just bones and ragged cloth. Um, and the veil that had been cast on this clothing to make it look nice um, has obviously fallen away as well. So you can see how dirty and it smells of death and the crypt and all of that. And uh, quite a lot of sulfur as well. That's not coming out in the wash. <laughs> no, no amount of roses is going to cover that. <laughs> it is not. Uh, you have saved a child and his dog um, and a father who is going to appreciate his child more often at this point Better. Um, for many reasons, um, including the major talking to, I imagine you would be giving him mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> And uh, you have saved this town, which has not only given you passes for this next year, but you have lifetime passes to all of the festivals. Yeah, and nice. you, may stay, <laughs> you may stay at that tavern for free anytime you want. So you always have a home base here in Sandpoint since you have taken down the Dole Beast slash Sandpoint Devil, depending on how much... <laughs> You're worried about twice season. <laughs> Phasma has definitely started telling the tale of how they took yeah. down the standpoint devil. And guys, you like y'all, my peeps, you took down that dull beast, which had some cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, it had a really cool sword in it that I put and, there. And the night <laughs> tag. And like, yeah, you got you as a party, you've been amazing. I really appreciate it. Good play. Well, thank you for for thank you for DMing. DMing such a fun session. Yeah, um, thank you. That was that was yeah that was uh, super fun and amazing. And I hope that you all learned a little bit of something with uh, Pathfinder for Savage Worlds or with Foundry, which has become kind of, <laughs> kind of something that we've been we've been toying with. Uh, but yeah, if you have any further questions, definitely hop on our Discord. Uh, there will be links everywhere uh, below and. Um, Hopefully you can join us again for, for the next time we do this. So thanks everybody for joining us today and uh, let's wrap it up. Let's go around the, the horn. Tell everybody say where you are coming from. Not at the same time, starting with Randy. <laughs> hey everyone. I'm Randy Alvarenga. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at roller Raja. That's R O L L E R R A J A uh, to see some of the really cool different streams and acting things that I am a part of. Great. Uh, Amy. 
Um, I'm Amy Ellison. Sometimes I GM for spooky things and I have no social media. So, you know, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here, though. Uh, Riley. Hey, I'm Riley Silverman. You can find me on Twitter at Riley J. Silverman, Instagram at Riley Silverman. And I'm currently on a Thirsty Sword Lesbians stream that is being done by Laser the Boy on his uh, uh, Twitch channel. So it's twitch.tv slash Laser the Boy. But we also have a put it out now as a podcast. So you can go on your uh, your podcatchers and look for Strumpets and Flagons. That's the name of the show. And yeah, we are currently playing the Thirsty Sword Lesbians game that was put out by Evil Hat Productions that is uh, created by April Kit. Walsh and gay spaceship games. So really awesome. Uh, and Ronald. Hi folks. I am Ronald Neely, AKA DJ regular. You can find me pretty much everywhere as, uh, at DJ regular. Um, you can also, uh, check out my, um, my, um, my games at, at itch.io also at DJ regular. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks. Cool. And I'm Domzik. You can find me. No, just yeah, look me up. <laughs> I'm sure you can find me. Uh, thank you again, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, players. Thank you, Amy, for GMing. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye.